Hello everyone, my name is Gedminas, I'm part-time Amazon and eBay seller. In today's video, I will share with you how we use Buybot Pro to analyze deals when I'm buying deals from online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, or even before I ship my products to Amazon. So, for those of you who don't know what the Buybot Pro is, I have recently created a video just going over different settings and features that Buybot Pro offers. I will leave that video in the comment section below. Also, please stick till end of this video because I will share a real life example recent product that I purchased from retail arbitrage and how Buybot Pro helped me to maximize my profits and return on investment. Okay, let's just jump straight into this video. So you should be able to see this product here. So the first thing I do before when analyzing my deals, I check if I can sell this product. I check if the product is dangerous good because I would tend to stay away from dangerous good products. Then I check if there is any AP in the, in the intellectual property reports on this product. And I also would check if this product is oversized because I tend to aim for a higher return on investment if the product is oversized because there are other costs involved such as like shipping and Amazon fees, etc. Once I've done that, I would jump to this island here. I would make sure to look at the estimated sales as well. And then confidence score here. If it's an orange or red, I would hover over and read a bit more why that Bible Pro thinks that this deal is not suitable for me. Once I've done that, all of that, I would jump straight into my charts. So what I would usually do, I would just maximize the screen. And that's the only chart to focus is this one here. So you can see the price, dates, and best sales rank on the right hand side as well. So the main key elements I focus is buy box, best sellers rank, and if Amazon on the listing. And I also like to have FBA price on. I tend to have keep these the elements off, but you can toggle on and off depending on your preferences. But that's how I like to see. I think I find this chart being extremely clear and easy to read on. Okay, so if the Amazon is on the listing here, it would usually light up, make this all in yellow, that's how you can tell that Amazon is on the listing. Then this green graph is basically your bestsellers rank. And then pick pink boxes, you see your buy box. And then you can also see this bestsellers FBA price here as well. I can toggle it on and off. Okay, so the key elements of focus, I like to see the, the graphs, moving graphs as well. So I like my graphs to move up and down. And I also like to see a lot of buy boxes as well when I'm looking at my deals. So Bestseller rank the way it works. So as the higher bestseller rank is, as the lower selling product is. So as the lower bestseller rank is, as the faster selling product is. So basically what you like to see is your graph moving down. So whenever a graph is increasing, it means sales slowing down. And whenever a graph drops, it, it indicates that uh, this product is becoming a bit more popular, sales are increasing, etc. So yeah, you would always tend to look for a movement, right? You want your graph to move. So I'll give you a couple more examples. For example, one of the recent products I purchased. Let's scroll down in the graph. Look at this. You know, you can see that the price, previous price was a bit higher, but then also you can tell when there is more sellers joining because the price is dropping straight away and best sellers rank is decreasing as well because this pop product is becoming a bit more popular and more because sales price is decreasing product, uh, customers seeing that this product is becoming cheaper, so they're buying a bit more as well. So let's look at this. I will quickly zoom this in. Look at that. Straight away, 16,000, like best sellers rank is at 16,000, which is incredible. You know, anything below 100,000, that's what you should be aiming for. These products are usually tend to like sell very, very fast. Anything below 50,000, you don't even hesitate. You buy that product It's it's going to go really fast. And anything in 40s, 20s, you're laughing if you managing to pick up that product because it's just going to clear extremely fast. It's going to sell very, very fast. Okay, let's just look at this. I wanted to share this example. It's one of the recent products I bought and you can actually straight away see the way the price is decreasing because more sellers entering the listing, right? So you can see like you probably, yeah, like look at the end, towards the end of the January. That's when I bought this product as well from Tiki Max and there is more sellers entering the listing and price is just decreasing and basically losing a lot out on the profits. So like if I would sell this product now, it'd barely be 30% return on investment. So, you know, something if you're a new seller, you might want to like stay away from these type of listings because these like sellers tend to compete on the price and price would drop, etc. However, another interesting point you could take is 
if you look at these current sellers that selling at 16 pounds there is only you can look at their stock levels on the left hand side and you can actually see there is not a lot of progress they currently got left so once they sold out the price would potentially jump back up to 17 and you could potentially wait until they sell them out and the price would most likely bounce back again this would mean you have to hold your product in amazon for a couple of weeks and if you're a new seller you kind of want your cash flow to flow you know you want your products in and out of amazon so you can reinvest reinvest so you know but again you can't be too picky it's really up to you um, because it depends what is your target return investment etc and what is your strategy as well but I thought it would be an interesting example to share how you can read your graphs in that sense as well. Another thing, right, okay, so this product I'm gated, however, I'm just using it for the purpose of this um, video. You can see there's not enough data. Like, if you look all time, 360 days, this product, uh, the BSR is just increasing, which indicates that uh, this product is not selling so you stay away from listings like that you know you don't want to like if you see that bsr it, since july it's just increased you can see buy box here however it's just not worth entering this listing one another good example is here if you go to this listing there is not enough data to support that this uh, product is selling you know you, you you see amazon on the listing right even bsr says here 219 i would not enter this listing because i don't really have enough data to support this you know i like to be certain that the product is gonna sell i like to put my money and know that i'm gonna sell this that's why this is amazing you know selling on amazon because you have this buy bought pro which basically guarantees that you're gonna sell your product all data is there to support so why not to take advantage of it you don't need to enter the listings that you're not sure your product is gonna sell especially when you start in it yeah once you have higher capital etc you can play around and enter these li listings you know you you could potentially try to to find a way it works for you but like why not just to be sure that you're gonna sell your product let's let's just jump into this uh, example here so this product is I just selected these are random products you know so i thought it'd be quite interesting to see this listing was created 90 days ago but you can straight away see there is so much data you know to support that this product is selling extremely well you can see that first this listing was created the price was extremely high but then more and more sellers joined price is going down however since december look at this the price stable was so so stable you know like you you Everyone was selling at 28 and you could see sometimes it drops to 24, however, it picks up back up, you know, so this kind of has a stable price in a sense. And also it's such a fast selling product. Look at this BSR, like 5,000, currently it's at 7,000. So you, there is like no concern, you know, you know that once your product goes into the Amazon, it's going to leave Amazon instantly for majority of you who wait until end of this video i will share a recent example where i actually managed to use the charts and maximize my profits so i bought this product from tesco i paid nine pounds and it was it's currently the buy boxes at 17.99 right so it's still 42 percent return investment however once i scroll down to the charts i could see amazon is currently on the listing right and majority of the times when amazon is on the listing is very very rarely they would allow you to sell above of the their asking price which is 17.99 however if you look at the graph you can see buy box is higher you know you, you can see sellers are selling for 49 24.99 you can see some selling at 26 and cent six pences you can see some were selling at 29 23.99 and even in my previous video i said i will, I will try i will try to price it up a bit higher above the amazon price and hold it for a couple of days even before this product got to Amazon, these three units were sold at $23.99, helping me to maximize, increase my return on investment. Let's just quickly take this. Increase my return on investment from 42% to 99%. You know, I made like five pounds more because I just tested it. You know, I used this information i use this data seeing that other stable sellers are able to sell at the price just thought why not to try you know and it worked so this is just a short video just to briefly go on for different scenarios if you do enjoy please drop a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and if you want to see more content like this 
drop the comment let me know i can create more videos like this using different examples you can even get, select the products and let me know and i will review them for you okay take care bye bye till the next one